Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to record the screen of your DAW along with the audio coming from it in the quick time player. Believe me guys, this is very easy. You just have to follow the instructions. First, let me tell you this can't be done in the quick time alone unless you install a third party app. In the description, I'm going to give you a link to the app. This is called Sunflower. After you download it, just click on it and this will open up. And then click on this uh, Sunflower package. You might get this error that it can't be opened. If so, then no problem. Just follow these instructions now. Let's go to this system preferences and security and privacy then general tab and click open anyway so after that you can install it i have already installed it so i'm not gonna do it again after installing the package just go to this search tab and search midi m-i-d-i -I. you'll get this audio midi setup just open it once it's opened just click this plus sign and click create aggregate device you're going to get this device i have renamed it as quicktime player in my case i have my scarlet 2i2 usb device as my input device you might have some other you can choose accordingly just check them if you need to record the mic audio at the same time as your screen is being recorded, you might also need to check the sound flower 2 channel as your input device as well. I don't need it now, so I'm not doing it. And then click this plus sign and create multi output device. All right, so you're going to get this thing and you can again rename it as I have done screen audio recording. Okay, you can rename it. Again, I have Scarlet 2i2 USB and make sure you check Soundflower as well, two channel. Okay, the next you need to go to the system preferences, sound, just click the screen audio recording which we just have created over here you can see screen audio recording make sure this is checked so you're just one step away from recording the audio of your door let's go to your door in my case it is logic pro x create a drummer track from here and let's give it a listen i can hear it but you can't hear it in the recording because we haven't done the last step but congratulations you're all done to record the audio uh, maybe from the youtube videos or some other stuff from your computer to record the screen audio of your door you need to do this one last step so let's go to the preferences in the logic pro x tab audio and change the output device to screen audio recording which we just have created okay so just click this screen audio recording and apply changes let's listen again Wow, I'm very sure that you are able to hear this recording. Okay, let's see how you guys can record it on QuickTime Player. Now open the QuickTime Player file and you can notice I'm not able to select this new screen recording. This is because I'm already recording my screen to make this tutorial video. Therefore, I'm going to demonstrate on the new audio recording, but you have to do it on the new screen recording. Click here, select Soundflower 2 channel from here, and after that, you can just click this red icon and your recording is going to start. 
so we are all done with this tutorial if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel believe me it helps me a lot to stay on the track to make more videos like this peace